been teaching my intercessors, algo que le estaba enseñando a mis intercesores, nuestros intercesores, is to be aware of the times we're in. Es que estén alertos del tiempo que están. And so one of the things that stood out to me, and then Apostle Greg confirmed it, una de las cosas que me asombró y el apóstol lo confirmó, is Hebrews chapter five, Hebreos capítulo cinco, where it says to basically work your muscle of discernment. Donde dice que tienes que trabajar tu músculo de discernimiento. The times we're in, it says many false prophets, many false teachers will arise. En los últimos tiempos falsos profetas se levantarán. So how can you discern from the between good and evil? ¿Cómo puedes discernir entre el bien y el mal? If they both act alike. Si los dos actúan igual. You have to work that muscle. Tienes que trabajar ese músculo. You have to work that muscle in the times that we're in. En los tiempos en que estamos. We got to push aside our itchy ear. Tenemos que empujar al lado nuestro oído cosquilludo. We got to stay away from prophets that speak and prophesy to our minds, to the illusions of our minds. Alejarnos de los profetas que nos profetizan a las ilusiones de nuestra mente. And that's the times that we're in. Y eso en los tiempos en que estamos. How many of you know many false prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, apostles, miracle workers are ri rising up this hour? ¿Cuántos saben que en estos últimos tiempos el ministerio quinto plan falsamente se está It's levantando. Es algo temeroso. It's a scary thing. You gotta be skilled in your discernment. Tienes que ser agudo en tu discernimiento. How do you become skilled? ¿Cómo te conviertes agudo? By abiding in the word and really receiving the revelation of the word. Habitando en la palabra y recibiendo la revelación de la palabra. We gotta change our habits, the way we do things. Tenemos que cambiar nuestros hábitos, cómo hacemos las cosas. If the way you do things ain't producing fruit, then it's time to change how you do it. Si lo que haces no produce fruto, tienes que cambiar lo que estás haciendo. We are living in perilous, dangerous times. Estamos viviendo en dangerous times. Tiempo peligroso. Dangerous times. Tiempo peligroso. Where where people hate truth. Donde la gente odia la verdad. They don't want to hear truth. They rather go to the myth than hear the truth of God. Prefieren otro lugar que escuchar la verdad de Dios. Let's go to Hebrews. Vayamos a Hebreos. We want you to be able to discern between good and evil. We want you to be skilled in it. Master it. Queremos que usted sea agudo en lo que es el discernimiento. Redemption Church will not be swayed to and fro. Redemption Church will be ambassadors of the kingdom of God. Esta iglesia no será llevada de un lado para otro, sino serán embajadores del reino de Dios. So it says in Hebrews chapter 5, we're going to start in 13. Vamos a comenzar en el verso 3. It says for everyone who partakes only of milk. Todos los que participan en leche. Is unskilled in the word of righteousness. No son expertos en la palabra de justicia. For he is a babe. Porque es un bebé. So let's stay there for a minute. Quedémonos ahí un minuto. If you get offended, you are a babe in Christ. Si usted se ofende, usted es un bebé en Cristo. Offense comes to mature us. La ofensa viene a madurarnos. To build us. A to equip us. Equiparnos. So we become unskilled Así que somos, no estamos expertos. when we remain babes, Cuando nos como when niños. we get offended. Cuando nos ofendemos. In the end days, many will be offended, it says, because of the truth of God. En los últimos tiempos, muchos se ofenderán a causa de la verdad de Dios. That's the time we're in. Ese es el tiempo que estamos. That's the time we're in right now. Ahora mismo estamos en ese tiempo. It's happening everywhere. Está sucediendo en todo lugar. People think they're somewhere when they're not because if you get offended, I'm sorry, and you stay offended, then you're still a babe. La gente cree que está en un lugar, pero si usted se ofende y se queda ofendido, pues sigue siendo un niño. Redemption Church will not remain babes. La iglesia de redención no se quedará como niños. You guys are soldiers. You guys are warriors. Son guerreros. You guys are extraordinary. Son extraordinarios. You're not a part of the original group. You're different. Extraordinary men and women of the living God. Del grupo original son hombres y mujeres extraordinarios del Dios vivo. It says, but solid food belongs to those who are a full age. That is. Pero el alimento sólido es para aquellos que están alcanzado madurez. Those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised. Para los que por el uso tienen los sentidos ejercitados. To discern both good and evil. En el discernimiento del bien y del mal. We have to exercise. We have to train ourselves to discern between good and evil. Tenemos que ejercitarnos, entrenarnos entre el bien y el mal. Discerning good and evil. Is not say, um, uh, the messenger of God saying something, and if it hits you, you're saying, "Oh, I don't like 
it they speaking evil that's not discerning el discernino si el mensajero viene y te dice algo y te golpea tú dices ay eso, eso no es para mí eso that is discernir. different God is convicting you God wants you to be transformed God wants you to be equipped God wants to take out that spirit of error Dios está trayendo convicción de que te quiere transformar, quiere sacar ese espíritu de error. Discerning between good and evil is recognizing because let me tell you, false prophets and true prophets sound alike. Déjame decir que el discernimiento que los falsos profetas y verdaderos profetas suenan igual. They sound alike. Suenan igual. So your discerning has to be trained. Discerning is not when you come from the world and you pick up from somebody. That's not discerning. Así que el discernimiento es que tú vienes del mundo y recoges algo en alguien. Eso no es discernir. Discerning is being led by the spirit and seeing the heart, the motive, the root of why they're doing it. Discernir es ser guiado por el espíritu, ver la raíz y el motivo por qué es que lo están haciendo. Seeing the spirit that's occupying the body. Ver el espíritu que está ocupando el cuerpo. So we got to train ourselves. Tenemos que entrenarnos. The Bible says that in the end days even the elect will be deceived. That's, that's a scary thing. Que en los últimos tiempos aún los electos serán engañados y eso es algo miedoso. It's scary. Eso asusta. I always ask God, let your strength. Yo le pregunto a Dios, que tu fuerza, your perseverance, tu your endurance, always abide in me that I will not be tossed to and fro, but I will be remaining and abiding in you always. Que siempre habite, que nunca se de un lado para otro, pero que permanezca siempre en ti. I always ask the Lord, reveal to me your secrets, for I never want to be shallow. Le siempre digo, Señor, revelame tus secretos, porque nunca quiero quedarme abajo. Take me to the depths of your spirit. Llévame a la profundidad de tu espíritu. Because those that remain shallow Porque aquellos que se quedan a lo largo truly in the end days you will be tossed to and fro en los últimos tiempos serás llevado de un lado a otro it says it in the word you will be driven lo dice la palabra que serás llevado driven by the spirit of error I'm going to show you in scripture because the word of God does not lie por el espíritu de error porque la palabra de Dios no miente we can't be shallow no podemos quedar en lo poco profundo we have to be deep and deep in the spirit we gotta be rooted we gotta be planted tenemos que estar profundizando y estar arraigados en el espíritu. You have people today that are natural. Tienes personas hoy en día que son naturales. And you have people today that are spirit. Y personas hoy que son espíritu. We cannot remain natural. No podemos permanecer natural. Our aim has to be like Jesus Christ. Nuestro apunte tiene que ser Jesucristo. Our aim has to be to manifest what He did. Manifestar lo que él hizo. We cannot remain natural. No podemos quedarnos natural. We have to reach full maturity. Tenemos que alcanzar la madurez. That's why I was in awe when Apostle Greg said, "Grow up." Por eso me me quedé en asombro cuando el Apóstol Greg dijo, "Crece." It's something we've been preaching in this house. Es algo que hemos estado predicando en esta casa. Grow up. Madura. Why? Por qué? We don't want you to be deceived. No queremos que sean engañados. We carry a movement of the Holy Ghost. Cargamos un movimiento del Espíritu Santo. And it's time for us to manifest that movement and let God take care of what you're asking Him for. Y es tiempo que manifestemos ese movimiento y que Dios cuide lo que tú le estás pidiendo. Take your hands off of the situation you're asking Him for. Quita tus manos de la situación que le estás pidiendo. And let the Holy Ghost flow through you, move through you, and be established through you. Y que el Espíritu Santo fluya, se mueva y se establezca a través de ti. Our fight is not against flesh and blood. It's against Against principalities, powers, rulers, governors of darkness. Nuestra lucha no es contra sangre y carne, sino contra principados, gobernantes y los malignos en las eras oscuras. You think if we remain babes, we're able to attack them? We're able to bind them? Crees que como niño vas a poder atacarlo y atarlo? You think an offended heart can do that? Crees que un corazón ofendido puede hacer eso? No, no. Because you have something that the principality carries. Porque tú tienes algo que el principado carga. So how can you bind something if you carry the same exact thing? ¿Cómo puedes atar algo si cargas lo mismo? The Bible says that's why Jesus said when they said the prince of the, um the prince of the world is coming, he said I don't care because I have nothing of him. Por eso Jesús dijo el príncipe del aire viene, pero él dijo no me importa, no he tengo said, nada de él. He said I don't care, I have nothing of him. A mí no me importa porque no tengo nada de él. That's why we have to live a pure and holy life before the living God Por eso tenemos que vivir una vida pura y santa ante Dios. constantly living a life of deliverance eating our daily bread Constantemente teniendo una vida de liberación, o comiendo el pan diario. that's the time we're in guys Ese es el tiempo en que estamos. stop hopping from church to church be planted in a church and remain there Deje de brincar de iglesia, iglesia, be rooted Sea grow up Madura. fulfill the destiny God has for you Cumple el destino que Dios tiene para Whether usted. it's here or somewhere else be planted rooted submitted to the leaders of the house 
casa. God is so good. Dios es tan bueno. This is an end time message. Este es un mensaje de los últimos tiempos. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Vayamos a 1 Corintios capítulo 14. First Corinthians chapter 14. 1 Corintios capítulo 14. Let's go to verse 2. Verso 2. It says, for he who speaks in a tongue, porque el que habla en lenguas, this is the wrong one. <laughs> Second Corinthians. Segunda de Corinthians. Second Corinthians. No, actually it's First Corinthians, I'm sorry. Chapter 14, verse 20. Primera de Corintios, capítulo 14, verso 20. Brethren, hermanos, do not be children. No seas niños. Brethren, do not be babes. No sean niños. Brethren, do not be immature. No sean inmaduros. In understanding. En pensar. Sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Brethren, do not be children. In understanding, however, si no, in malice be babes. En la malicia sean niños. So it says here, do not be children. Dice aquí, no sean niños. In understanding, understanding of what? En el pensar de qué? The word of God. La palabra de Dios. We have to be mature. Our minds have to be opened up to the understanding of his word. Nuestra mente tiene que estar abierta al entendimiento de su palabra. What happened to the two men when they were walking in Damascus? ¿Qué les sucedió a los dos hombres que caminaban en Damasco? And Jesus appeared to them. Y Jesús se le apareció. They didn't recognize that Jesus was next to them. No reconocieron que Jesús estaba a la par de ellos. Right? But then when he, they kept talking to, to to Jesus not knowing it was Jesus Pero siguen hablando con Jesús sin saber que él era Jesús. They're, Jesus is like what's going on and they're telling him do you not know that the, um, Jesus was crucified Jesús les dijo, no saben que Jesús fue crucificado. and so they kept talking and when he leaves they felt a fire and the mind of their understanding was open to the what? to the word y cuando él se fue, la mente de Dios fue a la, la palabra. so our mind has to be opened up to the understanding of his word to receive what? revelation Pero nuestra mente tiene que estar abierta They received revelation. Oh my God, he's alive. That was Jesus. Revelación, oh my God, está vivo. Él era Jesús. That's how we act, right? When we get revelation, oh my God, hallelujah. You feel like a giant. Así es como actuamos cuando agarra revelación, te sientes como un gigante. Brethren, do not be children in understanding. Hermanos, sean niños en el modo de This is the same thing as working your discernment. Es lo mismo como trabajar tu discernimiento. Then it says, however, in malice be babes, be infants si no in malice. malice. Sean niños, infantes. We like to glorify the enemy, Nos gusta but al then diablo. we act like children with God. Y actuamos como niños con Dios. When it's supposed to be the opposite. Cuando debe ser lo opuesto. Oh. Well, I don't like what she says, so I'm leaving. Oh, pues no me gusta lo que me dice, así que me voy. You're acting like a babe. Estás actuando como un niño. Let's grow up. Maduremos. Darkness is increasing. La oscuridad está incrementando. But the light of God will arise Pero and be greater. De Dios se levantará the light grande. of God in you. La luz de Dios en ti. You are called a light. Eres llamado luz. A city on a mountain. Una ciudad a light that cannot be hidden. You can't hide. Una luz que no puede ser escondida. No te puedes you can't esconder. hide your lamp. No puedes esconder tu lámpara. It says, however, in malice be babes. Pero en malicia sean niños. But in understanding be mature. Pero en el entendimiento sean maduros. But in understanding be mature, saints. Pero en el entendimiento sean maduros. It's time to grow up. Es tiempo de madurar. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Let's go to Philippians chapter 3. Vayamos a Filipenses, the word is just going to confirm itself. La palabra se va a confirmar por sí sola. It's going to tell you why we need to grow up. Va a decir por qué tenemos It's que It's going to tell you why we can't remain as babes drinking on milk. No Imagine you're niños. an adult right now st still drinking milk, no Imag food. Imagínate siendo un bebé aún bebiendo leche y no comiendo. What would you look like? ¿Cómo te mirarías? Skinny. What, do the, what does garito. the Bible say about those that don't nourish themselves with the word? ¿Qué dice la Biblia? Aquellos que no se nutren con la palabra. God said it on Tuesday night. Lo dijo el martes en la noche. They what, Thomas? 
They become retards. Se cometen retardados. But not only that, what did you guys see on Tuesday night? Que también vieron el martes en la noche. Skinny, dying. Delgados. So that's how we look in the spirit when we stay in milk. Así como lo vemos en el espíritu cuando nos quedamos con la leche. But God is merciful. Yes, He's merciful. He'll love you all the way to hell. Si the Bible says. Si Dios te va a amar hasta el infierno, dice la Biblia. He will never go beyond your will. Nunca va más ir allá de tu voluntad. Never. Nunca. So imagine if we stay on milk, infant's milk, infant milk. Si nos quedamos con la leche de un infante, infamil. Nothing in your body will be built. Nada en tu cuerpo va a ser edificado. Your esophagus won't be built correctly. Tu esófago no va a ser hecho correctamente. Your body won't be mature enough to receive solid food. Tu cuerpo no va a estar maduro para recibir comida sólida. So we got to desire me. Give me the depths, the depths of your spirit, God. The depths so I can manifest your kingdom. The depths, my God, so I can release your resurrection. Así que tenemos que desear la profundidad de Dios para desatar su resurrección. Let's go to Philippians. Vayamos a Filipenses. It says, finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things things to you is no trouble to me is safe for you por lo demás hermanos gozaos en el Señor a mí no me es molesto escribirnos la misma cosa si look para vosotros out. seguro oh, I'm sorry. look out for the dogs look out for the evil doers look out for, for those who um, mutilate the flesh this is why we need discernment por eso necesitamos discernimiento can you discern puedes discernir The truth from the false. La verdad de lo falso. How can you dis How do you know it's a fake? How do you know a fake bill from a real bill? ¿Cómo sabes un bill falso de algo real? You don't know Tú unless no they, they they do the, that marker. A menos que Other than that, you think you got a real bill. Si no, ¿tú crees que tienes un bill de verdad? But God has given us a gift because we got the Holy Spirit on the inside. Where we're able to discern, we just got to carry His word. If we are glory carriers, we got to activate that glory on the inside. Si somos portadores de gloria, tenemos que activar esa gloria dentro. So there are evil doers. Así que hay mala there are spirit beings that hate you and I. Hay espíritus que te odian a ti. They are not your friend. No son tu amigo. So when offense comes, you should reject it. Cuando la ofensa venga, rechazalo. When anger comes, you should reject it. Cuando el odio venga, rechazalo. When frustration comes, you should resist it. Cuando la frustración venga, resístelo. When passivity comes, resist it. Cuando la pasividad viene, resístelo. When slumberness comes, resist it and get up and shake yourself. Cuando la pesadez venga, levántate y sacúdate. Look out for dogs. Look out for evil doers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. Guardado de los perros y los malos obreros y los que mutilan tu cuerpo. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ. Jesus put no confidence in the flesh. So that's why when you don't got confidence, you're in the flesh. Cuando no tienes confianza, estás en la carne. Prophet, I'm scared. Profeta, tengo temor. I'm scared to grab the mic. Tengo temor de agarrar el micrófono. And I ain't making fun of nobody. I was once there. For no you guys that are thinking that. Porque yo una vez estuve ahí para aquellos que piensan. I know what it feels like to have no confidence because I'm in my flesh. Yo sé lo que se siente no tener confianza porque estoy en mi carne. Prophet, I'm scared. Profeta, tengo miedo. Well, it says for those who are in the flesh. Aquellos que están en la carne. Have no confidence. No tienen That's why we have to abide in the spirit. Por eso tenemos que habitar en el espíritu. The truth hurts, but I love the truth. La verdad duele, pero yo amo la verdad. Yo lo amo así de God speaks to me raw. He don't sugarcoat anything. Dios me habla así directo. If he got to rebuke me, he rebukes me. Si él me tiene que reprender, él me reprende. And I'm like, Lord, mature me. Yes, I want to grow up. Yo digo, Señor, madúrame. Sí, quiero crecer. Put no confidence in the flesh. No teniendo confianza en la carne. 
Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also, aunque yo también tengo que confiar en la carne. If anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Si alguien piensa confiar And en la here carne, he ¿cómo? goes on to share his testimony, where he came out of. How was he of? Because he was a Pharisee. Y aquí él cuenta su testimonio, no él salió porque él fue fariseo. But he, he, he's saying like that's no excuse. Pero él dice eso no es excusa. Keep going. Sigue. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee. As to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever, but whatever gain I had, I counted it as loss for the sake of Christ. That in it, that's a message itself. Eso es un mensaje. Keep going. Indeed, I count everything as lost because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ, Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. I don't care. He's saying, I don't care. I let all that go. I don't care because all I want is him. All I desire is him. That's all I want. Suelto todo eso porque lo único que deseo es a Él Lo único que yo lo quiero es a Él Let go of those childish deeds, guys Suelta esas cosas de niños Prophet, you don't know what I'm going through Profeta, tú no sabes We lo que all go through something The difference is what decision you choose Todos pasamos algo, la diferencia es la decisión que tú tomas We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. No somos perfectos. Yo no soy perfecto. But you know what's the difference? ¿Sabes cuál es la diferencia? I don't repeat that imperfection. I keep walking towards perfection. Yo no so la I don't stay stuck there. Y no me quedo trabado y si sigo la I don't stay stuck in offense. No. I don't stay stuck in rejection. I don't stay stuck in fear. No me quedo trabado en el temor, el rechazo ni en la ofensa. Because I desire meat. Porque I want more. I want to grow. I want to know you. Deseo carne. Quiero más. Quiero crecer. Quiero conocerlo. Keep going. Sigue. And be found in him, not having, a right, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. This is why the enemy is trying to place fear on on the church Por eso que el enemigo, él quiere poner temor en la iglesia. and this is why we have to grow up and walk in faith y por eso tenemos que crecer y mandar y caminar en fe. this is why es por esto. this is why es that por which esto. comes through faith in Christ the righteousness of God that depends on faith Prophet, but I've believed God for certain things and it didn't happen. Profeta, pero yo le creo por ciertas cosas y no pasó. Well, maybe you were just a babe and you got to continue to work that muscle, continue to work that faith, continue, renew your mind, get rid of unbelief, get rid of offense, be transparent with the living God. Tal vez eres un niño y tienes que comenzar a trabajar ese músculo de fe y ser transparente y decirle al Señor tengo incredulidad y trabajar ese músculo. I always am transparent with the Lord. Yo siempre soy transparente. Con Why hide Dios? from him? He sees everything. Porque esconderme si él lo ve todo. He knows every strand on your hair. Do you know how many strands you have? Él sabe cada pelo de tu cabeza. ¿Tú sabes cuántos tú tienes? <laughs> Danny, you still have facial hair. <laughs> Do you know? ¿Sabes? But he knows. Pero él sabe. So why hide? ¿Por qué tenerlo? Be transparent. That's your key. Es tu llave. That is your key. Es tu llave. Keep going. Digamos. That I may know him. That I may know him. This is my cry. That I may know him in the power of his resurrection. That resurrection is the Holy Ghost. That I may know him in the power of his spirit. That I may know him in the power of his resurrection. That I may know him in the power of the one who raised him from the dead. That I may share in his suffering and become just like him in his death. A fin de conocerle y conocer el poder de su resurrección. Ese es el Espíritu Santo. That should be our desire. Ese debe ser nuestro deseo. The devil has been defeated, guys. El diablo ya ha sido derrotado. Stop giving him your power and authority. Deja de darle tu poder y tu autoridad. He got none. Él no tiene ninguna. When you get offended, then he has your power. 
power and authority over you. Cuando te ofendes, él tiene el poder y autoridad sobre ti. I don't know why I keep talking about this, but the Holy Ghost does. Yo no sé por qué sigo hablando de esto, pero el Espíritu Santo sabe. That by any means possible. En alguna manera. I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Yo obtenga la resurrección entre wow. los muertos. That I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Que yo obtenga la resurrección de entre los muertos. Keep going. Sigamos. Not that I have already obtained this, or am I am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own business. Christ Jesus has made me his own. You see here too, if you if you go deep in this scripture, if you go into your strongs, si te profundiza aquí se va su strong. It says here, basically, he doesn't repeat the things. He walked towards perfection. That's what he's saying. He has made it his business that Jesus Christ will be the priority in his life. Dice aquí que no repite las cosas, sino que él prosiguió y lo hizo su prioridad en su vida. Hallelujah. Next. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. That, that word straining right there means stretch your eyes forward. Eso extendiéndose es estira, estira tus ojos hacia adelante. It means to expand yourself towards him. Dice expanderte hacia It él. means to strive after him. Dice es alcanzar las pedras Strain, de él. persevere, endure, chase him. Lucha, perseverar. Intensify yourself to grab him. Intensificarte para agarrarlo a él. That's what that means. Eso es lo que eso significa. See, it's not how you start; it's how you finish. No es como tú comienzas, es como tú terminas. Keep going. Digamos. Let those of I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let, here it goes. Eva. Let those of us who are mature think this way. This is how we have to think. Así es como tenemos que pensar. Everything that I read, Todo lo que leí. that's how we have to think. Así es como tenemos que that's why our mind has to be open to the understanding of his word. This is why we have to grow up. Es por esto que tenemos que madurar. You can't tell me you're mature if you're offended. You're no. a babe. The word does not lie. No me puedes decir que eres maduro si te ofendes la palabra no miente. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. He's always revealing. His desire is to reveal himself to us. Él siempre se está revelando su deseo de revelarse a nosotros. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. His desire is always for us to fasten ourselves towards him. You know, when my husband said kiss, kiss him. Do you know what that word kiss means? We think it's kiss. No. It means to fasten yourself towards him. To uh, prepare yourself for battle. Quiere decir aferrarse a él, prepararte para la guerra. This is why we gotta go deep in the word. Por eso es que tenemos que we gotta kiss him, fasten him, allow him to prepare ourselves for war. Tenemos que besarlo, aferrarnos, prepararnos para la guerra. That's what that word kiss means. Eso es lo que significa esa palabra beso. So when he said kiss, he's saying fasten yourself, prepare yourself for battle. Cuando dijo besa, prepárate para la batalla. See, sometimes we say things we don't even have the understanding of what we're saying. A veces decimos cosas que no siquiera tenemos el entendimiento. But when we gain that understanding, it creates a fire. That word kiss is not only prepare me for battle, but it ignites a fire on the inside of you. Y eso es no solo prepararte para la batalla, sino que prende un fuego dentro de ti. Look it up. Míralo, búscalo. Kiss him. Béselo. Fasten yourself to him. Aférrate a él. Prepare yourself for war. Prepárate para la guerra. That's why he said kiss, because we gotta prepare ourselves for war. Dijo beso, tenemos que prepararnos para la guerra. We gotta allow the fire of the Holy Ghost to be ignited on the inside of us. Deja que el Espíritu Santo en nosotros nos nos encienda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So we gotta fasten ourselves to him. Why? Tenemos que aferrarnos Not a él. Not only do we gotta become mature. Nosotros tenemos que madurar. We gotta kiss him. Tenemos que besarlo. Why? Por qué? We've read this scripture over and over and over again here. Hemos leído esta escritura una y otra vez. But it's always good to reread, reread till we gain revelation. Pero siempre le reerlo para recibir revelación. Go to First Timothy. Vaya primera Timoteo. Chapter three. Capítulo tres. Second Timothy. This is my daughter's Bible. It says, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. So imagine if we're still babes. We're in those times now, but it's going to get worse. There are certain things that we can't resist because it must come to pass. Okay, so what I mean is there are certain things you can't pray away because it's prophecy being fulfilled. So there are certain things that we do have to walk through. So do you think we can walk through them in milk? <laughs> No, no. I'll be like, guys, y'all go. I'm staying right here. Yo voy a decir, muchachos, váyanse, yo me quedo aquí. Prayer gathering, uh, do you know what you're fighting? No, I'll stay in my house. Reunión de oración, ¿tú sabes lo que estás peleando? No, mejor me quedo en casa. A blind can't lead another blind person. Un ciego no puede guiar a otro ciego. I can't lead you if I'm blind. And you blind? Yo no te puedo llevar a ti si eres ciego y yo ciego. Verse 2. Verso 2. For men will be lovers of themselves. We've seen that already. That's why offense is increasing. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. You're in love with your desires and the lust of the flesh. That's what's out there. That's what's out there. So we can't, redemption can't get caught up in that. Redemption no puede meterse con eso. I'm going to keep reading. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. And from such people turn away. We see that today. Vemos eso hoy en día. People being like Martha and making excuses. La gente siente como Martha haciendo excusas. Saying they believe, but they really don't. When Jesus told her, roll away the rock, she said, he's been in there for three days and he stinks. And you telling me to roll the rock? Diciendo que mueva la piedra y él dice, él la pesta. Y tú me dices que mueva la piedra? But she says she believed. Pero ella dijo que ella creía. Having a form of godliness. Teniendo una apariencia de piedad. How will we discern that? ¿Cómo vamos a That's why we gotta train this muscle. Pero tenemos que entrenar este muscle. Train this muscle through prayer, through fasting, through the word. A través de la oración, del ayuno, a través de la palabra. Asking the Holy Spirit to open up your eyes, to open up your ears, to open up your mind to the understanding of His word. Pidiendo el Espíritu Santo que abra tus ojos, tus oídos y entendimiento a la palabra. We got to become mature, Christ, because these, we got to become mature saints. Because these false prophets and false teachers that are sent by the devil are only here to curse you. That's it. Tenemos que madurar porque estos falsos profetas son enviados solo para maldecirte. Es todo. Take your inheritance. Toma tu herencia. And just rob you. That's right. Y and you, you we're letting the enemy rob us. Y dejamos que el enemigo nos robe. Because I'm scared. Pero tengo miedo. I don't have confidence. No tengo confianza. If God called you, then do it scared. Si Dios te llamó, pues hazlo así con temor. And let him perfect you. Be teachable. Y deje que él te perfeccione. Es enseñable. You can't just go to war 
there and not know how to fight? No puedes ir a la guerra That no sergeant is going to kick you out and send you home. Ese sargento te va a dar una patada y te va a enviar a casa. And give you a dishonorable discharge. Y te va a descargar deshonorablemente. You got to be trained. Tienes que ser entrenado. Rebuilt, remolded. Remoldado, reedificado. You can't even think the way you used to think. Ya ni puedes pensar como tú pensabas. It's the same way in Christ. Es lo mismo en Cristo. Prophet, I just want to go back to drinking and stuff. Profeta, quiero regresar a beber y cosas. You know, the world is calling me. I'm around so and so and that's what I like to do. Tú sabes, el mundo me llama y estoy alrededor de ciertas personas y eso me gusta hacer. Well, then that tells me you a babe and you need to gather us, yourselves around believers, true believers that walk in faith so you can be strengthened. Eso me dice que eres un niño y te tienes que rodear con creyentes que se caminen en la fe para ser fortalecido. You know, that's why I'm so glad that Apostle Greg said that he's, he's a son Por eso estoy tan and not a Christian. Que el Apostle dijo que él es un hijo y no Too cristiano. many Christians today are representing Christ wrong. Muchos cristianos hoy en día representan they think Dios drinking mal. is okay. Creen que el beber está bien. They think doing what they're doing and participating with the things of the world is okay. It's not okay. Creen que el participar con la cosa del mundo está bien y no está bien. Those are false doctrines written and spoken by devils. Esas son doctrinas falsas escritas y dichas por diablos. Drinking opens doors to spirits. I hope y'all know that. El beber abre espíritu, abre I know one espíritus. cup of wine made me feel nice. Yo sé que una copita de vino a mí me hacía sentir muy bien. Well, it don't make me feel nice. Well, you sure feel relaxed where his doors open. Then you wonder why you're getting tormented. Tú dices, yo no me siento nice, pero si te abre puertas y pues te pregunta por qué estás siendo tormentado. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For... For of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of gullible women loaded down with sin, led away by various lusts, always learning, always learning, never able to come to the knowledge of truth. That's so sad. This is tan triste. Redemption, say, I'm going to grow up. Redemption, or, voy a or say, I'm growing up. O diga, estoy I'm growing up too. Yo también estoy I'm madurando. growing up. We're together growing up. Juntos estamos madurando. I'm staying behind. Yo no me quedo atrás. I'm going on that first flight. Yo me voy en ese primer vuelo. I will establish the kingdom and then when he comes, I'm out of here. Yo voy a establecer el reino y cuando él venga, yo me voy de acá. I stay. Yo no me quedo. The Bible says if you stay, mm, mm, mm. la Biblia dice que si tú te quedas, mm, mm. you will be deceived by the illusions of the one that will arise. Serás engañado por las ilusiones de aquel que se va a levantar. Now, as Janus and Jambrius resist in Moses, this is why it's important too to mature in Christ. Por eso es que también importante madurar. En Because Cristo. they also, Janus and Jambrius, also manifested power. Porque también Janus y Jambrius manifestaron poder. They're the ones that fought, challenged Moses. Eran los que a Moisés. That's what's going on today. Eso es lo que está sucediendo That's hoy. why the enemy wants to keep us in milk. Por eso el enemigo nos quiere mantener en leche. But we got to desire meat because that's our inheritance. Tenemos que desear la carne porque esa es nuestra herencia. This is what we're fighting today. They resisted the truth. Esto es lo que peleamos hoy, resistieron la verdad. The Bible explains itself. La Biblia se explica por sí mismo. There are witches, there are warlocks, there are sorcerers, there are demons. Hay brujos y demonios that are occupying these bodies. Que ocupan estos cuerpos to take your inheritance. Para quitarte tu herencia. That's why we can't stay in milk. Por eso no podemos quedarnos en la leche. Change the way we do things. La en que las cosas. Let go of those old teachings and read the word, the red letters. Read the word of God. Get your revelation. Suelta las viejas enseñanzas y lee la palabra y recibe tu revelación. There is false, false, false prophets, false teachers, false ministers. Hay falso profetas, ministros y maestros. We sound alike. No oímos igual. Though th these also resisted the truth, men of corrupt minds, 
disapproved concerning the faith. You see how you see how the enemy wants you to resist faith. Ves como el diablo quiere que resistas la fe. Faith. Faith. Faith destroys the works of the devil. La fe destruye las obras del diablo. It does. Faith proves that there is a God that's alive. La fe prueba que hay un Dios que está vivo. That's why when you say I can't, I cuando, say you can. Por eso cuando dices que no puedo, yo te digo que sí puedes. They told me no. God says yes. Me dicen no, Dios dice sí. Once you learn and go in the depths of his will, you will know that everything is yes. Yes to heal. Yes to raise the dead. Yes to uh, cause the lame to walk. Yes to cause the blind to see. I don't care what sin they did. If God is caught hugging your heart, go lay hands on them. Sí, sí para manifestar la, los milagros. Sí para manifestar sanidad y resurrección. Si Dios te dice que ponga la mano, pues voy pon la mano sobre Dios. Yes, it is his will. Yes. You know, in the Old Testament, they knew when they were going to die. In the New Testament, they knew when they were going to die. En el Viejo y Nuevo Testamento, ellos sabían cuando se iban a morir. You know. Tú sabes. When you are planted, rooted in Christ. Pero estás plantado, arraigado en Cristo. That's why with my mom, I wouldn't let her go until she told me let her go. Por eso mi mamá no la dejaba ir hasta que ella me dijo que la soltara. And yes, God had to confirm it to me, and He did. Y Dios tuvo que lo and hizo. I let her go. Y la dejé ir. But I knew where she was going. Pero yo sabía ella se iba. Smith Wigglesworth raised his wife three times. Smith Wigglesworth levantó, resucitó a su esposa tres veces. She smacked him and said, "Let me go." Ella le dio una bofeta y le dijo, ya déjame ir. She didn't want to be here. Ella no quería estar acá. She wanted to be with the Father. Ella quería estar con el Padre. You know when we don't know the father we're afraid of death. Cuando no conocemos al padre le tenemos temor a la muerte. That's something God revealed to me. Eso es lo que Dios me reveló. When you're afraid of death, cuando le tienes temor a la muerte, of dying, de morir, you don't know the heavenly father. Tú no conoces al padre celestial. That's why the Bible says be rooted in love. Por eso la Biblia dice está arraigado en el amor. Let him perfect you in his love. Él te perfecciona en su amor. Fear enslaves you. It torments you. El temor te esclaviza, te atormenta. I used to be afraid of death. Yo le tenía temor a la muerte. And God delivered me. Y Dios me liberó. And when I found out everything that's in heaven, y cuando me enteré todo lo que está en el cielo, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I'll let her go. Yo dije, oh sí, la voy a soltar. Horses, unicorns. Caballos, unicornios. Prophet, where you read that? In the Bible. Profeta, ¿dónde leyó eso? En la Biblia. Because I had to renew my mind in order to let my mother go. Porque tuve que renovar mi mente para ir a dejar a mi madre irse. People working up there. La gente trabajando ahí arriba. So when you're afraid of death. Así que cuando usted le tiene temor a la muerte. You're not perfected in love. Usted no es perfeccionado en amor. I used to be afraid to walk into funeral homes. Yo tenía temor de entrar a lugares Now funerarias. Now I won't go to a funeral home unless I'm raising the dead. Ahora Why no do I need to look at a dead corpse? A una funeraria menos que voy a resucitar porque tengo que ver un cuerpo Pay muerto. Pay respect to a dead body. Pagarle un respeto a un cuerpo muerto. Or unless we're doing that thing that they do. A menos que hagamos esa cosa que hacen. Which is hard. Lo cual es duro. You know, I had a friend call me and say, "Hey, pray for my mom to find the candle." Una amiga me llamó, ora por mi mamá que encuentre una candela. I said, "What candle?" Y le dije, "¿Qué candela?" She either went to heaven or hell, girl. O se fue al infierno, o se fue al cielo, muchacha. To find the light, en que encuentre la luz. I turned on the candle so she can find the light. No. Apagué la candela para que encuentre la luz. No. I said, I'll go over there and pray for her and raise her Yo voy por ella, oro, with my husband. Con mi and I was a baby at that time. En ese tiempo, so I used to say, you do it, you do it. Tú hazlo, tú hazlo. I'll pray for you and you do it. Yo oro por ti, tú lo haces. We'll pray together, but you do it. Vamos a orar juntos, pero tú lo haces. <laughs> oh. She's like, Jesse, she's dead. And she Jesse está muerta. Okay, then I'm not praying for her to find a candle. Okay, pues no voy a orar para que encuentre una candela. That's a true story. Esa es una historia verídica. I hope she's not watching. Espero que no me esté viendo. <laughs> But that's why he's after our faith. Por eso él está tras nuestra fe. Because when you demonstrate 
Porque cuando tú demuestras the resurrection in any way, in any way, it doesn't have to be just raising the dead. En cualquier manera, no solo levantar When you manifest the Holy Ghost, you're testifying that Jesus Christ is alive. You're reminding the devil that God made him a fool the day on the cross. You're reminding the devil that he's defeated. He's a defeated foe. Cuando lo manifiestas, estás manifestando que el Espíritu Santo está vivo y lo estás que él triunfó y él es un un enemigo derrotado. So expand yourself. Así que expandas. Stretch yourself. Estírese. Stretch your eyes towards the prize. Estire sus ojos hacia el galardón. Stretch your eyes towards Christ. Hacia Cristo. Get out of your comfort. Sálgase de su comodidad. Get out. Sálgase. Take a risk. Tome un riesgo. If it doesn't happen, the next one will. Keep, si no it, sucedió, keep it moving. La próxima sí, siga moviéndose. Verse 9. But they will progress no further. For their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. Are you going to read it or no? Mas no irá más adelante porque su insensatez será manifiesta a todos como también lo fue la de aquellos. So we, we got to be mature. Así que tenemos que ser maduros. Because this is what's here and is going to get worse. Porque esto es lo que está aquí se va a empeorar. There are false prophets that speak hay paso profetas que hablan prophecies that are not true profecías que no son verídicas and God says it y Dios lo dice let's go to Jeremiah 14 verse 14 this is the importance of being matured in Christ vayamos a Jeremías because this is what we're facing porque esto es lo que estamos enfrentando facing right now ahora mismo and the Lord said to me the prophets prophesy lies in my name el Señor me dijo los profetas profetizan mentiras en mi nombre this is what's happening now esto está pasando ahora I have not sent them, Yo no los envié. commanded them, Ni les mandé. nor spoken to them. Ni les hablé. They prophesy to you a false vision, Te una falsa. divination, a worthless things, Cosas and the deceit of their hearts. Y de su They sound like the real thing. Suenan como la cosa verídica. This is why we have to grow up. Por eso que tenemos que madurar. How would you know is a false prophet? ¿Cómo vas a saber que es un falso profeta? How? ¿Cómo? They didn't know. Ellos no so the Lord rebuked them. El Señor los reprendió. So the Lord sent Jeremiah. El Señor le dijo Jeremías. Jeremiah will fight with him. Jeremías, ¿qué vas con él? They're gonna stone me. Me van a pedrear. He didn't care. A él no le importó. He said, go. God is telling you to go. God is telling you to wake up. Awaken from your slumber. Grow up. Crece. Jeremiah 23, verse 16. I'm showing you the importance why we have to mature. Because of the times we're in. And the way the devil attacks the church is through offense. The heart, the love of many, the Bible says, will draw cold. We see that right now. And it will get colder. What's going to distinguish us when we're rooted in love, perfected in love? This the, the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. No escuches las palabras de los profetas que os profetizan. They make you worthless. Os hacen vanidosos. They speak a vision of their own heart. Hablan visión de su propio corazón. Not from the mouth of the Lord. No de la boca de Jehová. I was teaching the intercessors that. Les enseñaba a los intercesores. I can look at someone and prophesy to their emotions if I want. Puedo ver a alguien y profetizarle a sus emociones. But then I'm partaking of a spirit of divination. Entonces participo de un espíritu de adivinación. So I refuse to do that. Así que rehuso hacer eso. It's easy to look at someone es fácil ver a alguien and speak to the vision of their heart. Y a la vision de su corazón. Your life is an open book before a prophet that operates in the office of a prophet. But we have to speak what God is telling us to speak. Pero que lo que el Dios nos dice que we hablemos. can't speak to your itchy ear. No podemos hablar a ese oído cosquillo. And that's what these prophets are doing now. Y esto es lo que estos profetas están haciendo ahora. Just like saying trans 
como diciendo trans es transformación es transformación if they can question God and say why you didn't create the, the woman and the man right why you what was it babe to create both right it's okay for you to be gay I don't understand why God is saying that you can't ellos dicen no entiendo por qué Dios está diciendo que no puede what is that que es eso And why God didn't say other? ¿Y por qué Dios no dijo otra? There is no other. Is man and female. No hay otra. Es hombre y mujer. That's what's rising up now. Eso es lo que está levantando ahora. That's why we have to discern. Por eso tenemos que discernir. We gotta work our muscle. We gotta grow up redemption. We don't do. We don't say nothing to hurt you. Trabajar nuestro músculo, crecer, no decimos nada para ti. Everything we say is to equip you, to empower you, to send you out. Todo lo que hacemos es para que para enviarte. We understand that it's not a one man show. We need the whole body to operate together. Nosotros entendemos que no es un show de un solo hombre, tenemos todo el cuerpo para cooperar. If we don't discern, we will be deceived. Let's go to 2 Peter. Si no discernimos, seremos engañados. Vayamos a 2 Pedro. 2 Peter chapter 3:16-17. Segunda Pedro capítulo 3:16-17. Hey. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught, untaught, unstable people twist their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scripture. Casi en todas sus epístolas, hablando en ellas de estas cosas entre las cuales hay algunas difíciles de entender, las cuales los indoctos e inconstantes tuercen como también las otras escrituras para su propia perdición. We seen this yesterday. Esto lo vimos ayer. Scripture twisted. We couldn't believe it. La escritura siendo tuerta, torcida. And you know, you get that righteous anger. Y tú tienes ese enojo justo. Because we, we understand what the enemy is doing. Porque entendemos lo que el enemigo está haciendo. And it creates this righteous anger. Y crea este so many justo. people following false, false doctrine because they're not studying their word. Tanta gente siguiendo doctrina falsa porque no estudian la palabra. There is no other guys. No hay otro muchachos. It's male and female, and those that have come out of that. Y aquellos que han salido de eso. Understand that it's only male and female. Entienden que solo es. Those that have been delivered by that understand that it's wrong. Aquellos que han sido liberados de eso entienden que eso es malo. Those that have been delivered by that understand what it feels like when that devil breathes on your back. Entienden lo que se siente cuando ese diablo le sopla por. So there is no other. It's male and female. Así que no hay otro. Es hombre o mujer. Verse 17. Verso 17. You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware, lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked. Así que vosotros, oh amados, sabiéndolo de antemano, guardaos, no sea que arrastrados por el error de los cínicos caigáis de vuestra firmeza. Sometimes she sounds forever. <laughs> But you're not. I know, you're not. This is why we have to grow up. Por eso que the que Bible madurar. says it here. La lo we dice will aquí. fall away Nos vamos a caer. and be led by the spirit of error. Y ser por el de error. This is why we have to work that muscle. Do not, do not stay. Do not be, become compromised. Do not be satisfied where you at. No se comprometa. No se queda satisfecho donde usted está. We got a desire for more. We got to kiss them. We got to tell them to create a hunger within us. Tenemos que desear por más besar lo que él crea una una intensidad de hambre por él. Fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Eh, compartir con el Espíritu Santo. While he's still here. Mientras él aún está aquí. The word says there will come a time where you cannot find him. La Biblia dice que vendrá porque no lo vas a encontrar. Fellowship with the Holy Ghost. He's your friend. He's your advocate. He's ev he's everything that you need. Tener comunión con el Espíritu Santo. Él es tu abogado. Él es todo lo que tú necesitas. From heaven. Es un don enviado del cielo. Verse 18. 
The other thing I, I remembered what you shared on a Tuesday. Lo otro que recuerdo lo que compartiste. That's where I got my message from. De ahí donde agarré mi mensaje. She said God told her. Ella dijo que Dios le dijo that we will not be clouds. Que no seremos nubes without rain. Sin agua. That's where I got this message from. De ahí donde agarré este mensaje. Because when I started to search it, it gave me all these scriptures. Cuando comencé a buscarlo me dio todas estas escrituras. And a false prophet or teacher y un maestro falso y a profeta false falso, minister un ministro falso, is a cloud without rain es una nube sin lluvia. and God said in this house y Dios dijo que en esta casa, we will not be a cloud without rain no we will seremos, have rain una nube sin lluvia, tendremos lluvia. let's go to Jude chapter 1 verse 12 vayamos a Judas capítulo 1 verso 12 It says, these are spots in your love feast. That word spot is also these are rocks. These are men. These are people that fellowship with you. Estas son manchas en vuestros ágapes. Estas manchas son hombres que tienen comunión contigo. While they feast with you without fear. Que comiendo impúdicamente. Serving only themselves. Apacentándose they mismos. are clouds without water. Son nubes sin agua. They are false. False men around us. Hombres falsos alrededor de nosotros. False men around us. Alrededor de nosotros. Carried about by the winds. Llevados de acá por los vientos. Lay autumn trees without fruit. Árboles otoñales sin fruto. This is why we gotta bear fruit. Por eso que tenemos que dar fruto. You know why when God opens up people's eyes, the prophet's eyes, the blind man eye in the Bible, he saw a tree. Por eso cuando Dios le abrió los ojos a ese hombre ciego, el we look árbol, like trees. You want to know why? Because vemos, we carry a movement on the inside of us. Como árboles porque cargamos trees un are dentro. constantly moving, constantly bearing fruit. Los árboles están constantemente moviéndose, dando fruto. False ministers don't bear fruit. Falsos ministros no dan fruto. They are like clouds without rain. Son como nubes sin lluvia. God said in this house we will be clouds with rain. Dios dijo que en esta casa seremos nubes con lluvia. Twice dead. Twice dead. Dos veces muerto. Twice dead. Twice dead. If we don't work this discernment and get in the word and allow that word to sharpen our sword, we will be listening to someone that's twice dead. Si no nos aguardamos nos dead, 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 dead. Vamos a escuchar a alguien que está muerto, muerto. Following a religious spirit. Siguiendo un espíritu religioso. I would just die in the world. Mejor me muero en el mundo. Peace. Paz. Twice dead. Dos veces muerto. Twice dead. Dos veces muertos. Pulled by the roots. Desarraigados. And you know how you're able to test their spirit. ¿Y sabes cómo puedes probar su espíritu? By the word. Por la palabra. I remember someone was brought here. Me acuerdo que alguien fue traído. And the Holy Ghost told me, ask them who's their covering. Y el Espíritu Santo me dijo, pregúntales quién es su cobertura. I said, who's your covering? Y le dije, ¿quién es tu cobertura? Oh, they manifested. Oh, se manifestaron. They manifested. Se manifestaron. I didn't know what I was asking. It was the Holy Ghost. Yo no sabía lo que preguntaba, era el Espíritu Santo. Then I go to scripture. Y voy a la escritura. And it says you have to be submitted Tienes que estar sometido to an overseer. A uno a because they oversee your soul. Porque velan por tu alma. And I was like, wow. Y yo dije, wow. Test your spirits with the word. Prueba su espíritu con la palabra. They will manifest. Se van a manifestar. They, you will know. Mm, 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 twice dead. Usted va a saber. Mm, 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 twice dead. Muertes. Speaking a good game, bearing no fruit. Hablando un buen juego, pero no dando fruto. Pulled up by the roots, desarraigados. Waging waves of the sea, tierras ondas del mar. Foaming up in their own shame, espruman su propia vergüenza. Wandering stars, estrellas errantes. For whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Para las cuales está reservada eternamente la oscuridad de las tinieblas. We do not want to partake of the enemy's table. No queremos participar de la mesa del enemigo. We want to be mature queremos sons ser of God. Hijos de Dios. Sons of God. Hijos de Dios. Sons of God. Hijos de Dios. If we go to, I took some notes down. Tomé notas. 
One of the things that will keep you on edge. Una de las cosas que te va, te va a mantener ahí. Is something I shared with the intercessors. Es algo que compartí con los intercesores. speaking in tongues. Es hablar en lenguas. That's why your mind fights you speaking in tongues. Por eso tu mente te pelea que That's why your lengua. mind says you gotta talk. Por eso tu mente dice, you gotta que say a hallelujah. Tienes que decir una aleluya. You gotta say bless his name or something. Tienes que decir bendito su nombre o algo. But the Holy Ghost is saying no, work it, stir it up, stir it up. Rebrasa tarra brama sucure branza. Rework that muscle of discernment. Trabaja ese músculo de discernimiento. We can't work it for you. No lo podemos nosotros trabajar por ti. Let's go to it. and then it continues to say remember the words of the apostles true apostles so redemption remember these words that are spoken to you tonight but you verse 20 and Jude still but you beloved building yourself up on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Spirit the Bible speaks for itself the Bible speaks for itself Holy Spirit, you look that up, it's tongues. Espíritu Santo, si tongues. Buscas, son lenguas. Tongues. Lenguas. Work the muscle. That's why Monday night we have different type of prayer. Por eso lunes en noche tenemos un diferente tipo de oración. And if you're not coming, do it at home. Y si usted no viene, pues Re brazo, toro, bra pray. If you pray 15 minutes, stretch it out to an hour. Si ora 15 minutos, estíralo una hora. If you pray an hour, stretch it out to two in tongues. Si ora una hora, estíralo a dos Your dos mind is going to fight with you because your mind is an enemy of God. Tu mente te va a pelear porque tu mente es un enemigo de Dios. If you pray for two, pray for three. Jesus prayed for three hours si before por... the sun rose up. Ora por tres. Jesús oraba antes de que el sol se levantara. He is the one we follow, so you can do it. Él es el quien seguimos, así que tú lo puedes hacer. We cannot be led astray. No podemos ser llevados a un lado. Just like um um Balak the king, Balak el rey. Right? He sent Balaam. El mandó a Balaam. How many of you know that story is in Numbers 22? He sent Balaam to curse the children of Israel. Envió a Balaam a maldecir a los hijos de Israel. So Balaam said, I'm going to go before God. And he sent, Balak sent his officials to Balaam. Balaam dijo, Voy a ir con el delante. And said, I need you to curse the children of Israel because they are more powerful than me. This is, I want escucho. you to listen closely because this is what's happening right now. So if you're falling asleep, get up. Escucha, porque esto está pasando ahora. Si se duerme, levántese. He said, go curse them because they are more powerful than me. Él dijo, Ve, porque son más poderosos que yo. Balaam went before the Lord. Balaam fue delante de Dios. And God told him, who are those people staying with you? Y Dios le dijo, ¿Quién es esa gente que se he queda said, contigo? they were sent from Balak. Fueron enviados de Balak. And he said, to do what? Y él dijo, ¿Para hacer qué? God asked him, God knowing all things, asked Balaam to do what? He said qué? he wants me to curse the children of Israel. Quiere que maldiga a los hijos de Israel. And God said, you can't curse what is blessed. Y Dios dijo, no puedes maldecir lo que es bendecido. The devil can't curse you if you're blessed and abiding in Jesus Christ. El no te puede si eres he can't curse you Jesucristo. if you're a mature son of God. No te puede si eres un hijo maduro de Dios. And then he said, Entonces dijo, Balak was like, Balaam, why you didn't do what I've asked you to do? I told you I would give you silver and gold and all these things. Balak le dijo a Balaam, ¿por qué no hiciste lo que Balaam te Balaam said, I can only speak what God told me to Balaam speak. Balaam dijo, solo puedo hablar lo que Dios me dijo. And he said, go curse them, Balaam. Dijo, ve y maldice los Balaam. And he said, I can't because the king dwells in their shouts. Él dijo, no puedo porque el rey eh, eh, habita en sus gritos. Let's read it. Leámoslo. Let's go to numbers. Vamos a números. So it says uh, verse 6. Verso 6. Uh, 22. <laughs> números 22, verso 6. So here he's saying, curse these people for me. Él dice, Maldice you know, pueblo. right now the enemy is like, Curse them for me. He's sending his rulers, his governors of darkness. Go curse. 
first. That's why there's a hidden agenda going on. It's for us, guys. Por eso hay una agenda escondida y es para nosotros. All this stuff that's going on, all this garbage, that, that's just a cover-up. Toda esta basura es solo una cubierta. We are the plan that they have. Nosotros somos el plan que ellos tienen. The spirit of persecution is already here. El espíritu de persecución ya está acá. The spirit of persecution is a form of a dragon. It's already here. Es una forma de un dragón y ya está acá. Curse them. Aldícelos. For they are too mighty for me. You are too mighty for the enemy. Porque es más fuerte. Usted es más fuerte que el enemigo. That's why he wants you shut. That's why he wants you as a babe. Por eso te quiere como un bebé. He wants you to get offended. Quieres que te ofendas. He wants you to be led astray. Que seas desviado. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land for I know that he whom bl blesses is blessed and he who curses is cursed. So the elders of Moab and the elders of the Midian departed with the diviner's feet in their hand and they came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak. And he said to them, lodge here tonight, and I will bring back a word to you as the Lord speaks to me. So the princess of Moab stayed with Balaam. Are you going to read it or no? Él les dijo, reposad aquí esta noche y yo os daré respuesta según Jehová me hablare. Así los príncipes de Moab se quedaron con Balaam. Then God came to Balaam and said, who are these men with you, God? God is amazing. <laughs> he questions us and he knows the answer. It's like, you know, when the messenger comes to you, did you get offended? We already know you got offended. And you're like, no, prophet, not at all. It's the same thing God did. You can't hide from the all-seeing God. No puedes esconderte del Dios que todo lo ve. Then God came to Balaam and said, who are these men with you? So Balaam said to God, Balak, the son of Zippor, Zippor, king of Moab, has sent me, saying, Look, a people has come out of Egypt, and they cover the face of the earth. Come now, curse them for me. Perhaps I shall be able to overpower them and drive them out. Es aquí este pueblo que ha salido de Egipto cubre la faz de la tierra. Ven pues ahora y maldícemelo. Quizá podré pelear contra él y echarlo. And God said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people for they are blessed. Entonces dijo Dios a Balaam, no vayas con ellos ni maldigas al pueblo porque bendito es. So here he keeps on, and, and then Balaam rose in the morning, and he kept on. He kept asking Balak. He, um, Balak kept asking Balaam, come, come on, curse them, curse them. What are you doing? I'm offering you money. I'm offering you these things. Do it. You think the devil's going to leave you alone? He was putting pressure on him. Go, go do it. Curse them. They're, you're too powerful for me. If you keep reading, si tú sigues leyendo, Finally, Balaam said to Balak, I cannot curse them. I can't curse the blessed. For the king, the wells, in their shout. No puedo maldecir a los bendecidos porque el rey mora en su So when you stay quiet, honey. Cuando usted se queda callado. You're being a babe. Está siendo un niño. Because a mature son knows what it's like to. Hallelujah. Sabe lo que es gritar. Knows the weapon of their warfare. Sabe el arma de tu milicia. Knows what it does to the devil. Sabe lo que le hace al diablo. A hallelujah drives away your enemy. Un hallelujah aleja tus enemigos. You know, Balak means um, the brother of the destroyer. Balak quiere decir el hermano del que destruye. The brother of the waster. El hermano del del que gasta. You know what passivity means. Sabe lo que es pasividad. The brother of the great destroyer and waster. El hermano del gran destruidor y el que gasta. So when you're quiet, es que tú eres callado, always remember that. Siempre recuerdes eso. Prophet, I can't shout. Profeta, no puedo gritar. You can stomp your feet. Puedes golpear tus pies. Or let me see you get mad around a person. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear you shout. O déjame ver cómo te enojas con una persona. Estoy seguro que te voy a escuchar gritar. 
Prophet, I can't do certain things. You can wiggle, jiggle a little bit. Profeta, no puedes decir cosas. Puede moverse un poquitito. You can do something. Puede hacer algo that releases a shout. Que desata el grito. Your shout, the king, the wells, and your shout. That's why some people that come, oh, it's too loud in here. Amen, brother. El rey Keep it moving. Dice. Hay gente que viene aquí se, se aleja de acerca del ruido. I'm a mature son. I know what my praises does. I know my praises drives away my enemy. My praises won't let me stay in milk. My praises helps me desire me. My praises causes me to fasten my lips towards God. Mi alabanza echa fuera mis enemigos y mi alabanza me permanece ahí con Dios. That's why if you're having marriage problems and you come to praise and worship, give God a shout. You know, I had God rebuke. I'm going to close with this. I had God rebuke me one day. Because, you know, we weren't always a perfect marriage or a happy marriage. We would argue in the car and then he would come drop me off and act like everything was all good. And he would be praising and I would just, I'd be standing there like, yo, y él estaba lavando y yo estaba parado y yo decía, oye, I, I, I don't hide it. Yo no lo escondo. I don't. Yo no. I'm like, this man, yo, this, God, really? Yo decía, este, Dios, de verdad. And God told me, why are you letting the devil uh, steal the praise that belongs to me? Y Dios me dijo, ¿por qué permites que el enemigo te robe la alabanza que te pertenece a mí? And I was like, oh my God. Y yo dije, ay, Dios mío. I was like, hallelujah. Y hallelujah. Weak in my body, but my spirit. When you're weak, that's when you're strengthened. And I will lift up a hallelujah. Y yo una hallelujah. And then it didn't get pretty when we got home. Y ahí no se ponía bonito cuando llegábamos a casa. One thing I knew was to lift up that praise music. Una cosa sabía yo es levantarle la música. Now I'll be praising the Lord. Y yo alababa al Señor. And then he would be praising God in his own place, in the room or in the car when he would go to work. But what it did was it drove away our enemy. It drove away the spirit of divorce. It drove away the spirit of destruction. Come on, guys. We got to grow up. The battle is not yours. God already won the battle for you. We just got to follow his instructions. So come in here and lift up a shout. Así que ven aquí, levante un grito. And don't let the devil lie to you and say, now prophet knows if I'm shouting, it's because I'm having problems. Y no deje que el enemigo le mienta que si usted grita, el profeta va a saber que está teniendo problemas. Because the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. Porque el diablo se viste como un ángel de luz. And that's why you have to know the word. Y por eso tienes que conocer la palabra. His ministers camouflage themselves as ministers of righteousness. Sus ministros se visten como ministros de justicia. Have you guys read that? ¿Ha usted leído eso? Yeah. So he'll use the word against you. Así que él va a usar la palabra contra de ti. So that's why you gotta know the word. I tell people when they come to stuff with me, uh, stuff to me with the word, and I'm like, they really don't have an understanding what they're saying. Cuando la gente viene conmigo con la palabra, yo les digo, no tiene entendimiento lo que. I don't keep going because I know the buts is gonna keep coming. Yo no sigo porque entonces van a venir los peros, peros. But one thing I do tell them, and my ladies know it. Pero una cosa que sí les digo. You know what? Study the word. Right, Elder Anna? Right, Cora? Right, Jenny? Right, Owild? Study the word. Right, Francis? Study the word. Because nothing I tell you is going to get there because your mind is stronger than your spirit. But if I can get you, God, if I can get you to get to the word the Holy Ghost will do the rest he would open up the mind of your understanding and you gain that revelation and become more uh, mature sons instantly how much you desire it so always remember you are a weapon you are an instrument do not partake of the table of the enemy do not partake of the table of offense allow the word of God to mature you 
permite que la palabra de Dios te madure allow the word of God to sharpen to train up your discernment permite que el alma te agude y desciende tus espíritus kiss the living God fasten yourself and prepare yourself for battle besa al Dios abróchate and give a shout because he dwells in the midst of your shout y dale un grito porque él mora en medio de tu and you watch how your enemy scatters y tú mira como tu enemigo se disparse you watch how your enemy flees tú mira como tu enemigo huye